Hello everyone, Venris here, and today I would like to show you something a bit different because we just found quite interesting change in Total War Warhammer 3. Thanks to Frodo that made RPFM, we are able now to see the tables of Total War Warhammer 3. And usually as modders we do that. And we find quite interesting system change that no one knows really that even CA never advertised that system, which is strange for me. So let's hop in. We are going to talk about difficulty, the difficulty settings and cheats for AI in the game. Table that you are seeing right now is a table of difficulty from Total War Warhammer 2. How difficulty worked in that game? It's quite simple. Depending on your campaign uh, difficulty selection, AI is getting cheats. Yeah, AI is cheating in this game. This seems to be quite normal, you will say. Okay, that's how it was always in Total War Warhammer. And not even Total War Warhammer, overall Total War games. But let's go a bit further with this step. First of all, in Total War Warhammer 2, depending on the difficulty, as I was saying, AI is getting cheats. For example, as you can see here, depending on your difficulty, minus one is easy player, easy difficulty. Zero is normal, one is hard, two is very hard, and three is legendary. So you can see that AI is getting from zero to minus 70%. This is 70% recruitment cost for all, all its units. Quite simple, I assume. Similar, let's say, with upkeep production. Also gets it to minus 20 for AI. Simple. Yeah? Yeah. But Total War Warhammer 3 does not have that system. Not in a majority. Most of the cheats that you were seeing previously in Total War Warhammer 2 are absent in Total War Warhammer 3. They are not in the difficulty table and they were nowhere to be found. Most of them at least. Instead, CEA added quite a new system that's called Potential. What Potential mean? We'll start slowly with it. This table shows that many factions in the game, like Bretonia, Dwarves, Empire, High Elves, Kislev, etc., have minus 40 potential modifier. Okay, what does it mean? Slowly. Then we have another table. Let's say if you are playing Northern Provinces on very hard difficulty, Set factions like demons of uh, of Daniel, <laughs> Corn, Nurgul, Ogre Kingdom, Slanesh, Zinch, are getting plus twenty potential. What does the potential do? Let's move further. On legendary is plus sixty. On very hard is plus forty. It's similar with all the factions. If you're playing demon prince, again, several factions are getting increased potential. What does the uh, potential is being increased by? Let's go to the set table. And we can see that many, 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 many different actions in the game are setting potential. Things like strength of enemy army. So you are enemy of AI in that case, so stronger your armies are, more potential AI gets. I think it's quite understandable. Public order, how many items you have, how many uh, characters you have, how many settlements AI have, how many settlements you have. All of this changes the potential for the AI. And what does the potential does? Potential is a difficulty matter that adds certain bonuses to the AI. As you are seeing, some factions are getting bonuses and some factions are getting negative. Let's say that the faction that we are playing against right now have 40 potential. What does it mean? We can change the potential rate when we can see that from 1 to 40, AI is getting construction cost minus 10, minus 5 recruitment cost, replenishment bonus, upkeep, negative upkeep, <laughs> and growth for all provinces. 
what is the values from minimum to maximum means? Means that if a potential of a set function is 1, then it's 0. When it's 40, it will be minus 10. Then we have another more potential means more and more bonuses and cheats for the AI. On the maximum values, they are quite crazy because uh, AI getting minus 80 construction cost for all building, minus 60 recruitment cost, replenishment by t plus 12 percent, minus 50 percent upkeep for all the units, and 120 fa uh, growth to all provinces for everything in that faction. Quite crazy, especially if you stack it with all the technologies because. AI is getting technologies. AI is able to do technologies, is able to take Lord Skiers, make landmarks, etc. So yeah, situation that we have right now in the game, that uh, AI have one settlement and is able to do five, six armies of it. This is the cause of it. There's also one factor that I didn't mention and I think is like most interesting in all of this. Potential is doubled for all the AI that you don't see on the map. So for example, you have a fog of war on your campaign map and you know that corn faction is out there, but you did not discover this faction just yet. So all the potential that we talked about is doubled for this faction. So imagine that for longer you are not seeing the faction, stronger it will get. Also, it seems from tables that the potential itself can also go down. So if you are losing armies, if enemy is losing armies, etc. All the factors that we talked about can lower the potential, so lower the difficulty bonuses for the AI. Overall, I think that this system is fantastic. This is the thing that mods were trying to do for ages. We tried it in SFO, thanks to Zarkis. The Run Flamingo also made a special mod only for that to win Warhammer 2. NCA just did the same with way more advanced mechanic built in the game and I think it has a lot of potential. Thanks everyone for watching. If you like such a video I can make more of uh, videos that we are cracking Total War Warhammer systems from inside so you can see what is all about. Remember that if you like my content you can always support me by subscribing to this channel, liking the video, subscribing to our Patreon or just joining the community to have fun with us. Thanks everyone for watching and Benris out.